All right. What is going on guys, it's Taz here, and welcome back to the channel. Now, one of the major questions everybody's had ever since the Crisis on Earth X crossover is how did the Reverse Flash or Eobard Thawne actually return within that crossover? Now, I've seen a lot of people talk about this, a lot of people have been discussing this, putting their theories out there, but what I want to do with this video is give you guys a couple of theories that I actually have on how the Reverse Flash returned within the Crisis on Earth X crossover. Now, the last time that we actually saw Eobard Thawne or the Reverse Flash is in sort of the Arrowverse as a whole was at the end of Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 when he was actually caught by the Black Flash and sort of erased from existence and sucked back up into the Speed Force. And through getting sucked back up into the Speed Force, this sort of ended the storyline for this time remnant version of the Reverse Flash that was kind of just left out there because of all of the events that happened in the Flash Season 1 and then Flashpoint and then obviously Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 where he was caught by the Black Flash and sort of an end was put to that time remnant storyline. Meaning that at the current point of the timeline, the reverse flash should have been in the speed force. And that's sort of the big question here is how did the reverse flash get out of the speed force and really how did he return for the crossover? Now my first theory here takes us back to the end of Legends of Tomorrow season 2 where we had the reverse flash facing off against the black flash and where the black flash actually ended up catching him and obviously sending him back into the speed force like I mentioned earlier. But this theory involves one of the different versions of the Reverse Flash that he kind of called to help him out there, it involves one of these versions of the Reverse Flash actually ending up escaping from the Black Flash and sort of just getting out of there before everybody was erased. Now, the only reason I really bring this up is just as a simple explanation that they could have as to why the Reverse Flash came back, or really how he came back, is just one of the versions of himself was able to escape the Black Flash and sort of go off to do its own little thing. But another way that they could kind of shoot down this theory is just by saying that when the Black Flash erased the Reverse Flash from existence and all of the versions of the Reverse Flash that we saw got erased from existence, it really erased all of the versions of the Reverse Flash that weren't really where they were supposed to be in time. But my next theory here sort of goes off of the fact that maybe all of these versions of the Reverse Flash were erased and there's only one version of the Reverse Flash, sort of the current type of version of the Reverse Flash that was just continuing on in his timeline. That version of the Reverse Flash was in the Speed Force and what could happen is that version of the Reverse Flash would just escape the Speed Force, kind of like Barry did at the beginning of The Flash Season 4. And in my opinion, this is probably the most likely out of all of my theories that I'm going to be bringing up here, just because it seems like the writers kind of want to give not too complicated of an explanation as to how he comes back because even in the crossover they just said oh time travel you wouldn't understand it so that sort of makes me feel like you know they might do something that they've done before sort of obviously with Barry they had Barry get out of the speed force at the beginning of season four and maybe that they're going to do something like that with the reverse flash if they ever really want to explain how he came back is they'll just say oh yeah he came out of the speed force around the time that Barry came out because maybe Barry kind of left an opening in the Speed Force for the Reverse Flash to come out, or he just found a way on his own to escape the Speed Force. And then after escaping the Speed Force, the Reverse Flash would then go over to Earth-X and then put things in motion for the crossover. And now my final theory here is one that's pretty circumstantial, and a lot of things kind of have to fall into place for this theory to have actually taken place or to actually be true, and that is at, back at the end of Legends of Tomorrow Season 2, obviously, Reverse Flash and the Black Flash facing off. I said this before, but one thing that would be different is that before this sort of end fight scene with the Black Flash and the Reverse Flash, maybe the Reverse Flash had a version of himself go stay at that lair that he had, or kind of his base of operations that he had at the Destroyed Time Masters outpost, and remember that that Destroyed Time Masters outpost was in an area of really reality where time doesn't pass normally, or doesn't really happen as it normally would within sort of a normal area of time. So by having a version of himself stay in an area where time does not work as it normally would, that would allow this version of himself to bypass really the reverse flash being erased from existence. If the black flash erases all versions of Eobard Thawne that are out of time and are in places that they're not supposed to be, maybe this sort of shockwave doesn't reach out to that destroyed Time Masters outpost or doesn't really affect that version of the reverse flash that was nowhere in real 
or actual time, since he was really kind of out of time, then it really wouldn't affect him. And that would also make sense to really how in the crossover, the Reverse Flash never mentioned the Black Flash being after him or anything. If this version of the Reverse Flash was able to bypass the being erased from time from the Black Flash, then the Black Flash wouldn't really know that this version of the Reverse Flash exists or really know to go after him or know that he's kind of a time aberration or time remnant that shouldn't be where he is. Now, I feel like this theory would just be a really, really cool way to explain how the Reverse Flash came back in the crossover if they ever really wanted to explain it further than just time travel and it's confusing, but I just think that this would be a really, really cool way to explain how the Reverse Flash returned. But other than that, guys, I'm just happy that we saw the Reverse Flash come back within the crossover, and I'm excited to see the next place he pops up in. And I want to know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. How do you think that the Reverse Flash returned within the crossover? Do you agree with some of my theories, or do you have some theories of your own? I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. But until next time, guys... It's been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.